we're starting to really wake up here with the spring. Lots of plants are budding out and so we're pushing hard to get as many plants lifted out of their nursery beds and into their final production spacing or sold or transplanted as possible. And right now Sasha and I are working in an area um, and she recommended I make a video about this because it's a concept that I'm toying with that I think is a, a really simple polyculture that has some or simple guild as in a distinction from polyculture it's not just a few plants next to each other it is a beneficial relationship which is why I would call it a guild and in this case it's a two-way guild of apricot with black currant and what we're finding is that by and large, black currants in particular, not all currants, but black currants, seem to be incredibly resistant to deer browse almost year round. And for the most part, I almost feel like it deflects them away from an area. I could be wrong, but it feels like that's what I'm watching. And apricots, for the most part, are not high on their list, but the black currant co planted with an apricot sets in motion a symbiotic relationship. The black currant being shade tolerant can be an understory to this apricot and in the short run should be able to confer some of the really funky musky aromatics to this tree and help protect it a little bit. You'll see we planted two of these out so far. The black currant, in this case, this is Prince Consort black currant. It's a rooted cutting from last year. That's planted where it's leaning into the apricot. And as the apricot leafs out and grows, they'll be in competition with one another for light resources, and the apricot will be encouraged to push itself upwards faster. Rather than sprawling laterally, it should go upwards which is what I would want, is to get it up into the canopy. So we'll plant this to, these two together. On this bed we happen to have some chocolate mint growing and a lot of stinging nettles. And that's just fine by me. Those are all great ground covers to be in this area. So we'll sneak in the apricot. As the overstory plant, I will plant it to the north so that it can be taller than the understory shrub, which is our current. And of course, we could just push in a hardwood cutting of a current, but we've got enough of these rooted plants that I figure we'll plant them together. You can see I've got a very formal and deliberate planting style here. We'll make a video about what are the quickest ways to be able to plant trees and shrubs. We've got the apricot planted, We've got the support shrub layer planted in the form of this heavily aromatic and musky and pretty uh, herbivory repellent black currant in association with it. Awfully close, no problems there. With pruners, I can change this setup if I need to. This is the sacrificial plant if that is what comes to pass, but I suspect these two at this spacing will be compatible for a long time. This will cast shade which this is happy about, and this will cast repellent aromas, which this will be happy about. And hopefully the two shall live together in harmony for years and years. And here's one more. This is a better example. I actually took this black current and wove it through for now, and I'll unweave it a little later, but this way it's always putting that, that, that musky stank of the black current all up on that apricot. <laughs> We'll share a whole bunch more novel and uh, empirically based functional guilds as time goes on. But for now we're going to try to get another 50 trees in the ground in the next hour or two. So a follow up here to convey the example of why you would want to associate a high value tree or shrub with a really aromatic repellent plant is this. Right here, this happened this winter we have what was, and will be again, but it, this is a Thiessen service berry that was chewed back to almost nothing by rabbits. Now luckily it's not grafted, so it will sprout again, and I have a second chance to help defend this plant from predation. To the side over here, we have 
a lavender plant. And you'll say, okay, but what's the point of that? You're not telling me anything. We also have inside of this lavender plant a thesis and service berry. It didn't get a single drop of attention from the rabbits because it was hidden inside of lavender for the winter. It will easily push through the lavender and grow. And so this thesin has the benefit of being this service berry one full year ahead of its partner. I planted both of these on the same day. This one with aromatic companionship, this one on its own, and there you go. Mm -hmm.